So this video here is just going to show you how to get your CUDA supported video card uh, to work on the Mercury playback engine with Adobe Premiere CS5. Now by default there's only a handful of video cards that Adobe officially supports like the Quadro line of cards um, but your average 200 series to 400 series video cards um, for the most part will work with uh, the Mercury playback engine on Adobe Premiere and all you have to do is simply unlock it in a text document so I'm just going to show you how to do that here so by going down to the start menu we're going to go all programs accessories and we're just going to find notepad here we're going to right click on it and run this as administrator so we'll be able to make changes and save them um, from here we'll want to go to file open and then we're going to try and find the path location where we installed Adobe Premiere CS5 on our computer in my case it's just the default C program files Adobe and Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. From there we'll scroll down we're gonna find the text document that says CUDA supported video cards and we're gonna open this up. So these cards are the ones that are officially supported by Adobe but what I'm gonna do is gonna add my card here I'm just gonna copy copy this one here drop her down and for me I am using a GTX 460. So I entered mine there and for you whatever your video card is you'll just have to enter the name of your card in here somewhere and we'll go file save and we're just gonna close this little text document and we're gonna wanna right click on our desktop and go into the NVIDIA control panel. So we're just gonna wait for this to load up here and once it's loaded up we're going to want to go under manage 3D settings and add the program Adobe Premiere into the list now for me all this stuff was actually done by default I didn't even have to go into here and my uh, Mercury playback engine was working but if you're not getting any performance nothing's working um, you want to go into here and get this added so um, same thing add um, find the path location which is the same we're going to go down and find the program click on it open and now it's added to the list. Um, I know I'm using Adobe Premiere CS5 for the most part I haven't seen anyone with it show up as Adobe Premiere CS5 it shows up as Adobe Premiere CS4 that's fine doesn't make a big deal um, same thing so if we go down what we're going to want ex uh, enabled is compatibility performance mode under multi-display mixed GPU acceleration so we want to have that checked um, it also does work under multiple display performance mode, um, but compatibility mode is supposed to be what you want to have it set on, and you shouldn't have issues. So once that's set, we're going to click Apply, and then we'll be loading up into a project here once this closes, and we'll make sure it works. So I'm just going to close it, open up uh, an Adobe project here of mine. And there you go, you can see that we now have a yellow render bar underneath our timeline uh, indicating that GPU acceleration is automatically enabled. And if we go under project, project settings, general, you can see here video rendering and playback that uh, the GPU acceleration is enabled and working. So that's really all there is to it. You just got to add your card into that text document and make sure you run it as administrator. And from then on, you should have a CUDA performance in your video rendering and playback. So uh, hopefully this works for you and have a great day. Thanks.